Bad Kissinger, Northern Bavaria. It is the 1st of June 2018. This is the off-road show. It is the largest camper van uh, 4x4 event in the world. This is the Volkswagen tent. So we'll have a quick walk through. And now many of these vehicles I have filmed individually in the past. So I won't be going into too many details at the moment, but I shall uh, you can see them in other films later. Okay, Terra Campa. And what they've got, which is uh, somewhat interesting, is the way they manage to pack things into the back. So you can see all of this storage capacity there. That of course means that the bed is somewhat elevated. But you can see how their system works uh, from here. So, next one is Verts and uh, they have a couple of vans and this one here what's nice about it is the very high roof that it's got inside and you do get a great feeling of space and that's called the Magnum and this one here is called the Piccolo and that has a uh, same amount similar amount of space in, in inside I would say that's a low vehicle it's got a snorkel on the uh, outside. It's a low vehicle but it's got the tent in the roof whereas that one, the Magnum, has got a hard top. Now, um, Camp Mobile. Now there's a company here, HRZ, from Heilbronn or near Heilbronn. This vehicle Tango, we'll have a look at that when we're coming down the other side I think. Okay, Re Remo who are best known for their equipment uh, the catalogue you get from Remo with all the bits you need for camper vans, but they do make modules for VWs. Uh, Octobus. So, coming back here, we've got some of the uh, stuff that comes directly from VW, such as here we've got the uh, bully and a system at the back. Uh, from Kukuku, Q U Q U Q. I don't know if that's the correct way of actually pronouncing it, but that's a storage system which pulls out. And in the storage system itself, you've got, for example, you've got your cooker, then you've got your fridge, you've got your water. There's the VW Amarok on which many trailers can be placed, and we see lots of them here. VW Caddy. It's a car, but it's a four-wheel car. Four, sorry, four-wheel drive car. And here we have a very interesting camper uh, called the Florida. And I, I quite like the way that this has been set out, which I can show you from the back. And it's quite, I think, uh, unusual for a VW or a camper van in general because I, I don't think it's fair to say it's a motorhome it is a camper van because it's a camper conversion look you've got your telly there you've got this u-shaped lounge at the back and looking down the gangway you've got your toilet and your shower room there it's even it's even like a changing room because you've got your hanging space there behind the uh, mirror which is uh, in the um, shower unit so that's a very uh, original setup They've got the VW Camper Ocean, which cost 94,000 euros, and I can't understand why. But there was one park next to me at the campsite. So it just shows what an exclusive campsite I'm on. A sort of tent on the back of one of their cars. And uh, let's walk down here. Oh, I want to show you this one here. This um, is very attractive. It's, uh, from the outside it looks pretty good, but inside this uh, gale cab, it's, it's quite amazing uh, the way it looks inside. Anyway, I filmed it in separately. You can see it in the separate film. I have another look at the Tangle, because what this has got here is the, uh, got two low beds at the back, but the beds will sort of move over and you can get bikes down. So you could put the, um, the, the bed, uh, you can either go up like that, you put the bikes down on both sides, 
or alternatively get rid of that bit in the middle there and then the uh, the beds can move over so you can leave uh, bike you don't have to take the bikes out of the van at night i'm always saying this in you know how to travel bikes uh, how to travel with bikes in the back uh, we can see the couple dancing at the top that is a bridge and uh, you can also it's got a very interesting way for the hanging space which actually pulls out like a sliding pantry does so anyway uh, see that in a separate film now road ranger who uh, i've got this uh, uh, stand or this part over here they make uh, things for camper vans and uh, such as the uh, i'm not talking about the word is here might be able to help out in this one Sorry, this thing down here, this, this silver thing, uh, I think it used to be called a runner. I don't know if it still is called a runner. And they also make these things for uh, these slide out parts as well, and so you can get your storage, this type of thing. And that's made by them. They also make parts for tents, roof tents. Don't make the tent itself, they make the uh, supports for it. And uh, I'll show you this other van behind me as well from Vilka, which is on a, um, a, a crafter basis and it's uh, uh, quite an interesting van I think the way it's been laid out and uh, we'll come down here and have a look at uh, this is a van Esser system now I showed this uh, at uh, Stuttgart uh, on the Mercedes uh, X-Class and this is a, syst a storage system for uh, you can keep your cooking, you can keep your you know, plates, a bit of your clothing and uh, this this type of thing and this has been built specially in this case for the Amarok. Okay now there's a quick look around the VW uh, tent <laughs> at this tray fair and uh, you can see uh, many of these vehicles and equipment uh, setups done in individual films and I hope that this has come out okay because it looks rather dark to me but anyway my hope is that it's worked I'm not quite I'm not used to either the gimbal or the camera and that is what is going wrong with the way I'm filming. The problem is this, I can't film it again, but by the time this gets published, I'll be long gone. I'll have to wait until next year. So, from the VW tent at Bad Kissingen in Germany, this is me now signing out.